All right, what's up guys, it's Nella Finn. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about Hell's Divers. Oh, it's a little bit weird because I'm playing Overwatch and talking about Hell's Divers, but I actually did play a good amount of Hell Divers. I just didn't feel like going on to the game and booting it up and playing it or whatever and stuff like that, just to talk about it. Let's just give my own opinion on why I think Hell Divers died. You guys don't have guns. I ain't scared of you. I'm gonna die right now. Okay, we got him, we got him, we got him. We got him! There we go. Easy. Out. Stop that shit. Damn you. Damn you all. Like Mind you, Helldivers is a PvE game. There is no PvP in the game or anything like that, which I don't know if it would have the game or hurt the game. I don't really think it would have mattered if it had a PvP. <laughs> I don't think it would have hurt or helped the game, and particularly if it did have a PvE. Majority of people that did play Helldivers didn't really care. You know what I'm saying? I don't think a lot of people cared if it did have a PvP. Uh, a PvP or not. I just don't think a lot of people gave a shit. At the end of the day, Helldivers was all about the community. It's the first thing it was, foremost in everything. It was about the community and how the devs were literally so in tune with the game. It just seemed like it was an unbreakable bond between uh, us and the devs. Now, one thing that is super good about having a, you know, unbreakable bond with your community is that like we will stay and play the game no matter you know a lot of the dumb shit that you do we would try and correct the you know shit that you are doing that is pretty stupid and as long as you listen a lot of those people will stay one thing that the dev said that they wouldn't do that they did decide to do was nerf a bunch of the weapons in the game which didn't make a lot of sense the thing that they said that they weren't gonna nerf was the flamethrower and for some reason they completely nerfed the flamethrower's distance and just how much damage it, it was supposed to be doing in general and mind you, there is no real reason to be nerfing weapons in a PvE game. I can understand if it was PvP and it, the flamethrower was just too strong and all this other kind of crap. It was just, it was too much for, you know, a lot of the other players. And if you got a hold of a flamethrower, it was pretty much over with. But this was a horde type game where, you know, robots drop from the sky. You got these alien-like creatures dropping, you know, or burning up from underground and all this other kind of shit and coming after you. It just didn't really make any sense to nerf weapons in a pve game they kept doing this they kept over nerfing things and it just didn't really make any any type of sense you nerfing weapons in a pve game it, it just doesn't make sense if the weapon is op who really cares they nerfed the exploding crossbow laser cannon scythe and rail guns they were literally just nerfing weapons just to nerf weapons and it makes absolutely no sense on top of the flamethrower and all those other kind of weapons it just didn't make sense now mind you i did not play hell divers one i only played two and I think Helldivers 1 was a completely different game than what 2 even looks like. I think they're completely different things. There we go, Andrew. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. From what I know, uh, Helldivers 1 and 2 are just completely, like, totally... Not totally... I wouldn't say, like, totally different games, but they are definitely different uh, in their own right. It's like, Dio can mess up with this stuff. Oh, crap, and I'm getting res. So a lot of the stuff uh, that were common problems in Helldivers 2, I just, or Helldivers 1, I just wouldn't really know about because I didn't really play it. But to me, they had a giant nerfing problem, and that was the whole problem just with Helldivers 2. I mean, they just kept nerfing weapons to the ground, and it didn't make any sense. And the community was telling them to stop nerfing these weapons. Please stop nerfing these weapons. It doesn't make any sense. And the devs was just like, mm, nah, I don't think I will. I actually think if, I don't even know if Helldivers can revert the changes that they did, I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, of course they can revert the changes, but I mean like, I don't know if people will come back and play the game. My brother was like a diehard Helldivers player, and he just completely stopped playing it after they stopped, started doing all those nerfs and shit like that. He doesn't even talk about it anymore, and it sucks because I think they actually really had something nice there. Now, I didn't in, I didn't play Helldivers as much as everybody else was, but I did enjoy the game. I did like it. It just, I'm, I'm not a big PvE person. Oh. Actually, I mean, from what I know, at least that's actually a lot of the problems that is happening with Hell Divers. It actually makes me really sad because I do really enjoy the game. Oh God! That literally fucked up my shot. It made me get out of it. That's crazy. Fuck does Doomfist look like that? What the hell? We use off of them. 
most unimaginable perk possible. Yeah, and not only that, it just seems like they were kind of abandoning the game. I mean, Ghost Diver lost literally like 90% of its player base, uh, and that's really, really bad. I don't think that they'll even be able to compete after this point. They lost like, uh, they lost like their little top 10 spot and everything. It's just like, I think it's just gonna continue to decline after that. I don't really see them, you know, getting any better from what they have done. I just think it's completely over with this game. The game was just being neglected pretty much. And just five months after that, they just lost a bunch of like, players like from that player base they were peaking at what like 450 some thousand which is a very crazy number i also think a lot of the like um when you would join like other players and stuff i think the community was also a big factor of why hell's diver kind of failed i think the community was one of those uh big factors in that because there was no i feel like when you did stuff wrong in hell's divers you were just completely like either killed or even when you joined other players and stuff like that people would just kill you for absolutely no reason it was just really toxic and they just weren't banning players for doing stuff like that. I, I joined like a lot of lobbies where, you know, my friends weren't on or something like that. And I, I would just join like a random lobby and I would just consistently be killed by the same person over and over and over again. You guys have played it when it first came out, very good game. But I think now the game is just gonna kind of do what a lot of other games are doing and just die because there just wasn't enough support. And all of the little like controversies that Helldivers were going in with their, you know, dev teams and all this other kind of stuff, all that controversy that was happening around that time, just was really like tanking the game. So I think that the game was really fun when it had first came out, but with just all the stuff that was going on with all the nerds and them neglecting the game and with just them not caring enough after that, I think that's what ultimately killed the game. The fact that it's hard to even get into the game because uh, the game is supposed to be played with friends and stuff like that. But if you hop on and you're just trying to join like other lobbies and join other people and shit, a lot of people are really toxic and the community was pretty toxic as well. First came out, it wasn't as toxic, but as time had went on, a lot of people were starting to just become like super toxic for absolutely no reason. And you would just join and just can be consistently team killed. And I can say that with confidence because I've joined a lot of people and just were team killed for absolutely no reason. That's when I first, first got the game and I was trying to learn the game and I didn't really know what I was doing. And I was trying to follow them. I wasn't doing exactly what they wanted me to do because I didn't know there was like certain strats in a game that you can do and all this other kind of stuff. And I just didn't know. I'm the kind of person where I get a new game. I don't really want to look up guides and do all this other kind of stuff to learn that specific game. So I would do stuff like that, you know? Others and them weren't on or if my friends weren't on, I just wouldn't play the game. I just stopped playing the game. I didn't want to play it solo because I didn't find it as fun to play solo. But yeah, anyway, though, guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. I really do hope you guys did enjoy this video anyway. Probably going to be double uploading, so be on the lookout for that. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.